Hi everyone, thanks for watching today. I have a different type of video to share with you and it's something I kind of wanted to discuss with you and really stir up some conversation down in the comments about minimalism. And it's something that with Project Panning, which is using the makeup and body care items that you have and trying to use those items up and showing progress on YouTube, um, that's something that's really helped me with uh, kind of becoming a little bit more minimalistic with uh, my makeup, with other areas of my life as well, but also I kind of wanted to just, this is going to be more of like a chit chat video by the way, I kind of wanted to just kind of ask questions and talk with you a little bit about it because I've gotten some um, questions about like are you becoming more of a minimalist and I would say I'm trying to be and live more simply but not necessarily be a minimalist in the sense that uh, I hear people talking about minimalism and like capsule wardrobes where you have only a couple of pieces of clothing and you make those work and that is wonderful. But for where I am in my life and with my husband's work and with um, being a mom and being in a family, I feel like I can't just have four forks or I can't just have um, like three shirts. I need to have what's appropriate for where I am and who I am. And that doesn't mean have like my wardrobe completely stuffed with clothing. And one book that really helped me out was The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up. And I will like insert a little picture or maybe a link to that uh, book. That really helped me out a lot with just trying to surround myself with things that I love and that I enjoy and get rid of the stuff that's just clutter and making me feel like things are weighing me down or making me feel claustrophobic in a sense. That kind of feeling. I didn't want that in my life anymore and I noticed with my makeup collection in particular, it was just getting really out of control for me. So by reading that book, that helped. Uh, getting into project panning, doing an inventory, just actually seeing what I have in my collection, that's helped a lot. And so I wanted to kind of discuss that. I, I wouldn't say that I'm a minimalist by any means. I have bins of baby clothes uh, from my son because I don't want to get rid of them in case we have another child. Uh, I want to save money there. Uh, but I want to be practical. I, we did clean out our kitchen and I have gone through uh, several like photographs and little mementos and little figurines and stuff that we had just laying around and cleaned a lot of that out and I feel a lot better about that. This afternoon when I was kind of brainstorming about doing this video, I wrote down three things that have helped me or three tips that have helped me on my own journey to simplicity or being a little bit more of a minimalist. I wanted to share them with you and they're really quite simple. The first one is going to the library. For me, I love learning and I love uh, books and reading and watching movies. So instead of going out and buying a movie or instead of uh, rushing out to buy a book, I've been going to the library and what's really cool is that a lot of libraries do this too, is there's an interlibrary lo loan system. So you can go online and do everything from online, place holds on your books. Uh, you just usually use like your library number and a pin or a password and you can borrow a book from any of the libraries near you. So uh, where I live, there's like 14 or 15 different libraries that I could borrow books from and they'll send it to your local library. So if I have a book on tape, that's my, been my big thing lately, or a book on CD and I'll listen in the car to a book on CD so that I'm learning while I'm driving around and while I'm doing you know my day-to-day -day stuff. And it comes from a different library. You borrow it for a week or two and then send it back. And then it's not cluttering up your life. It's not, that book's not just sitting there and you paid 15, 20 dollars for it. Uh, that is one thing that's helped me. My second tip is for those of us who watch YouTube or watch TV, and I encourage you to watch those channels that inspire you to be happy with what you already have. I know for me there was a particular TV show that was making me want to buy certain things or to have a certain look, and I stopped watching that TV show and it's really helped me not be as tempted, specifically with like certain types of clothes. So that's been a helpful thing for me. And then also for YouTube, there are certain channels that make me really want to buy. They're really encouraging and like, you have to have this, this is the best. And, and while it's really fun and to learn about a new product and to hear such wonderful praise for a product, it can also make you feel like 
especially for me, it was making me feel like I was missing out and I wasn't focusing on what I already had in my life and the things that I already enjoy. So that would be my second tip. I ran into the other room to go get something to share with you guys. So if the camera angle is a little bit different, that's the reason. And I know these tips are kind of random and all over the place, but I felt like if even one tip could be helpful for one of you guys, uh, I've succeeded in why I made this video. My third tip is about fashion and shopping and clothing. And it's to encourage you to check out your local thrift stores instead of going to Macy's or Nordstrom or JCPenney and spending full price on clothing items. It's to encourage you to check out your local thrift stores first because it's a great way to recycle what's already been produced. And then also, well, thrift stores are great for getting rid of clutter and sharing what you have, which might be junk to you, but treasure to another person. So that's a great part of thrift stores, but also shopping there. I know there's kind of a stigma. Some people think, oh, oh, you got that shirt there. You got those pants there. I do not care one bit about that because you wash them. You can find some really nice pieces of clothing there. And some of them are designer pieces of clothing that I found. Um, I know it can be one thing about thrift store shopping for me that I found can be a little tempting and an opposite of minimalism and simplicity is that if you get really good priced items, sometimes you're tempted to buy more. But I've tried, this is another little tip within this tip, I've tried to make it so that if I'm trying on an item and looking at, seriously looking at buying an item, I have to, in my mind, say, can I make two outfits out of this using what I already have in my closet? So will it go with these pants or these shoes or that, this, that, the other thing? And I have to have at least two other outfits that I can incorporate uh, that article of clothing in with. Also, another thing is, instead of going out and spending full price at Nordstrom or uh, some upscale department stores, what I like to do is uh, clip out little articles uh, from fashion magazines or different magazines that I come across and find the styles that I like. And then I go, when I go to the thrift store, I have an idea of what I'm looking for. I'm not just aimlessly wandering around like, oh, I just want this and this and this. I have an idea of what I'm looking for and I wanna try out and what I wanna incorporate into my style. So that's another fun tip. I know I had one other thing that I had. Oh, being mindful uh, when shopping in general, but also shopping at the thrift store, uh, being mindful of what you have in your collection already but then also if you have a temptation to buy one thing in particular, like for me, I was buying a bunch of Christmas party dresses a couple years ago and I wasn't going to many Christmas parties. So it didn't really make sense for me to be buying Christmas party dresses. So through that uh, Marie Kondo method of decluttering, I was able to get rid of quite a few of those dresses and hopefully pass them along to somebody else who could use them and enjoy them. But I have one or two in my closet and I actually, I wore one dress that wasn't even a Christmas party dress to the last Christmas party that I went to. So it's funny how you can find things in your collection that you already have without having to go and spend a bunch of money for one night or one evening. I know this video is a little bit different than the other content that I create on my channel, but I wanted to share some tips and some uh, books and things that were helpful for me and helpful for me just enjoying what I already have. And I know with that kind of hinges on project panning. I do a lot of project panning on my channel. If you have any tips for simplicity or minimalism, let me know down below. I'd love to read them and be encouraged and inspired by all of you. Also, if you're new to my channel and you enjoyed this video or enjoy similar content, please make sure to subscribe. I look forward to getting to know you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.